what's going on y'all man so in today's video i want to talk about a toxic post that i've seen on facebook right i came across this post and i want to share it with you guys but i will say this on the post i am not going to share the images of the people i'm not going to share the names of the people i'm just going to use the post because i think that this was done in poor judgment and there's a possibility that this person may regret this post so i don't want to expose the faces in the names in this post just to keep the people private these are not public figures these are just private people having a public moment right before we get into that man how was your father's day let me know in the comments how did you guys enjoy your father's day did you spend it with your dads your loved ones did you spend it with your children did you spend it with your wives your girls your baby moms whoever right how was your father's day and also ladies how was your father's day what did you guys do for father's day let me know in the comments below what was done for the father figures in your life or perhaps maybe um somebody who passed away and how did you honor that person right me i had a great weekend uh let me know in the comments if you want to know about the weekend i'm not going to go down the whole rabbit hole of what i've done this weekend it was a lot <laughs> so let me know in the comments i might make a little post about it if you guys want to know what i've been through on father's day right had a great father's day weekend but this post i've seen on facebook is toxic man and this is something that happens time and time again where people or parents are upset with other parents and they want to air out dirty laundry all over facebook facebook probably is the most toxic social media app but before we get into this post here on broken traditions we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture if you into that kind of content you have that kind of mindset please join the movement and by joining the movement you can subscribe to my youtube you can support me on patreon also you can find me on my new rumble i'll leave a link in the description and you can find me on threads and instagram i'm trying to build an online community of like-minded people who want to break away from toxic traditions also in the pinned comments i'll leave a link to my website and on my website you can sign up for my newsletter and when you sign up for the newsletter i could give you guys emails about anything i post giveaways live streams whatever's going on with broken traditions i appreciate you guys all right let's get into this post so pull this post up right here so, so much to unpack it is so much to unpack on this post so this young lady tagged somebody else and she submitted this post and this post says this happy absent father's day exclamation emoji screaming emoji middle finger emoji don't shoot the messenger shoot the deadbeat daddy shrug emoji i don't know the hands gripped together like this emoji happy father's day to the real fathers out there blue heart hands up clapping emoji right so when you see posts like that on social media you see that time and time again that's not a new thing where people post um posts like that on holidays just to get back at the other parent but this one takes a little bit of different twist that i think is disgusting check this out okay so she printed out this shirt for her son to wear so this shirt has her son as a baby with his father and it has a message on the shirt so let's read this message right because this is to me over the top and disturbing so the message on the shirt that this child is wearing is number one deadbeat dad 2024 behind every deadbeat baby daddy is a deadbeat grandma acting like her ugly ass son ain't do no wrong happy absent father's day and the pictures she posted on her facebook with this young man this child this boy with a picture of his father on his shirt saying that his father is a deadbeat the little child has his middle finger up this child looks no older than nine years old right i'm gonna give him nine the oldest the beef you have with your child father or with the beef you have with your child mother should not be you you should not use your kids as a prop like this this is disgusting i've never seen nothing this despicable in my life like i said i'm not going to share the image of the people because i think this is done in poor judgment and perhaps this person may want to go back and say eh, i shouldn't have done that right maybe something could be rectified and it could settle the differences so 
I'm not going to be the one to, you know, put out their images like this. But I want to put this message out there. This toxicity that people feel the need to put their children involved into their problems like this. This child is not supposed to be in the middle of this controversy between the two parents of whatever's going on, right? And I'm not going to go down the whole rabbit hole of the comments that's on this page on this post. Though usually I'll put a link in the description to the post so you guys could check it out. But like I said, I'm not even going to take it that far. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I think, I think this is done in poor judgment. But this is despicable. Don't get your child involved in these type of situations. This young man should have his own perspective of who his father is, not the images you putting in his head. And for you to make this shirt, post it online, you know, people is not as generous as I am that's going to blur this little boy face out. This may go super duper viral and people are going to have this boy face all over the internet and he's going to be known as the young boy who had on the number one deadbeat dad shirt 2024. He has to grow up like that. He has to go to school with that. He has to see that as his public image. You probably could Google search this young boy and have this young boy being exposed to this toxicity that you want to bring upon him because perhaps you choose the wrong baby father. <laughs> man, this is sad and this is disgusting. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. <sighs> also, man, I'm on a grind to get 10,000 subscribers. If you guys like this kind of content, you like this thought provoking content, please consider hitting subscribe and help me to get towards my goal of 10,000. I definitely appreciate it. But oh my God, yo, this, let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. I, I think this is disgusting. You already know how I feel. All right, man. Till next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One. Also, if you like this kind of content, please consider hitting subscribe and check out this other video YouTube suggested. I didn't suggest it. YouTube did. And YouTube do not lie. All right, peace.